Welcome back Diablo 4 fans and today we're going to be covering off Helltides. So Helltides are available at Nightmare difficulty or above and you get to Nightmare difficulty by completing your capstone dungeon at around level 50. Now Helltides spawn at random areas on the map and the event looks like this with this sort of blood stained area. Now Helltides are one of the best ways to gain XP and farm items and essentially sell those items for gold. You will know if you're in a Helltide event as the blood will start to rain from the sky which is pretty awesome the first time you encounter it. And in the top right hand side you will see a cinder and a countdown of how long the Helltide is remaining. Now Helltides last for an hour but they do spawn every two hours in different locations. Within the Helltide you will see chests. These are opened by gathering the amount of cinders that that chest requires. Now chests are specific so there will be chests for protection, chests for jewellery, but once you actually arrive at the chest, it'll tell you what type of armour it is, so whether that's a, a helm, glove, pants, same for jewellery, be amulet or rings. There is another chest which has sort of different types of items in it. It's kind of like a mystery chest. Now, you'll get at least one legendary. I don't think I've ever opened a chest where I haven't had a legendary drop. Now, to get cinders, you're going to need to kill as many enemies as you can within the hour, and they drop cinders on the floor which kind of glow in it's like a yellowish colour. Now, best way to do it is kill as many enemies as you can, do all the events. Some creatures drop one, some creatures drop zero, some drop a whole bunch. Generally when you kill an elite, you'll see a lot more. Once you open a chest after an event, you'll get a lot more cinders as well. So, once you've got enough sort of cinders in your armoury, or once you've gained enough cinders, Go find the chest that you want, open it up, and get the legendaries out. And you've got to do that within the hour that you've started. Now, you'll gain a good amount of XP during Helltides, but also a lot of legendaries within those chests. So, selling those legendaries is how people farm gold within Helltides. One thing I do get asked is, when do I know a Helltide is going to spawn? Well, there's a pretty cool website that I'll link below that actually just gives you a good map of when these things are coming and it gives you the timings of when they're going to be and it kind of lays out sort of the, the overall map of a Helltide event. And one final bit of information is that if you die during a Helltide you will lose a proportion of your uh, cinders that you have gained. It's a real bummer so make sure that you do not die during a Helltide. And really this is all you need to know about a Helltide event. They spawn every two hours, they last one hour, you gain a hell of a lot of XP and you get a lot of legendary items. It's a good way to farm gold and items. And you farm gold by selling the items you don't need instead of sort of uh, salvaging them. That's a really quick overview of a Helltide event. I hope you found it useful. Please hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll hope to see you again soon.